Hey guys, I'm Marty Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands-on look at a mini PC that was sent to me so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. So that's what I'm doing in this video. This right here is from Ace Magic, and this is the Camry Hyper Series Edition H2 model. And I just gonna go ahead and show you guys how it works. I already did use it and put it back in the box. That way you have an idea how it looks when you get it through the mail. And of course here, the only information you got here in the back is that it's the H2 model, silver in color, 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is awesome. One terabyte of, my, uh, of SSD drive. That's also, also good. And uh, let's go and take it out of here. <laughs> of course, mini PC. <laughs> and da, 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 da. put this aside you got some instruction manual here if you use a pc before you should know how to use this anyways but i'll keep in mind this you can also use this with a visa mount and hook it up like behind a monitor that way you could turn that monitor into like an all in one pc yes it is possible with this and here i'm gonna take this out uh, okay here we got i believe this is the power cord yep you got the power cord here you got hdmi and you got the visa mount items with the screws as well over here uh -huh. And here you got the brick that you need to actually plug it in. And I believe it's around 59 watts, I think it is, that it requires, something like that. But yeah, this is all you get in the box. But of course, the main of the show is actually this brother right here. So let me take this out. I like putting everything back just the way it comes. That way uh, you really have the actual experience how it is. So sometimes it's actually pretty hard to put it back together. So this is how it looks. It has a Cam Rui logo there instead of the Ace Magic, which looks way better. Uh, this of course has an 11th generation Intel Core i9, i9, which is not bad. That's pretty damn badass. Over here in the front, you got USB-C, port which is also capable of video out a usb port usb port 3.5 millimeter jack that way you can output some audio you got the power button right there you got a whole bunch of vents here and all vents here vents over here and you got four more usb ports right there which is 3.2 display port hdmi port it has this right here on the ethernet port just and it only says to just hook um do the initial setup without the internet that way the connection could be faster and avoid all those first initial updates but if you want to take it out and just do the update just uh, as you're setting it up good for you um, but yeah this is a one gigabyte ethernet port right there and of course you got the power port right here and this right here is for actually taking this out which of course i'm gonna go ahead and take it out so i can show you guys right away how it looks in the inside so this of course has more vents here in the bottom and you have the model here h2 32 gigabytes one terabyte intercore i9 as well very cool so to take this cover off all you got to do is unscrew this completely because it has that right little screw here for like security purposes that way not everybody can just go like this and just take it out but it comes up and now we're going to take these four screws off and it's very easy to actually take it off okay now let's go ahead and take this out and there you have it so there it is so like you see right away you can have access to the ddr4 ram which is 16 gigabytes each so it's 32 gigabytes that's not bad it's i like that it's so accessible very easy to replace i believe you can upgrade it up to 64 gigabytes which is very good and of course here you got a ssd drive looks kind of weird eh? the, the labeling uh m.2 nvme pci3 i believe it is 2280 which is great because these are easy to find and they get very cheap so this is one terabyte i believe you can upgrade it up to four terabyte i think that's the max you can go to 
and of course it has the Wi-Fi module right there which is a 6e right I think it is a 6e Wi-Fi model and of course easy accessible and easy very easy to upgrade as well and I believe that's the CMOS battery I believe that's what it is right here so normally what you really want to have access to is these two items like the RAM and the drive the SSD drive which is awesome because it's very accessible it's very very cool I love when you can easily do it like that and of course um, when you put it back together it just very easily to put back together let me put it back yep just like that and of course I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws back in finish putting all the screws there and now we could just go ahead and put it back there so like you see this is that very easy it easily comes on and off that's very cool and of course you don't have to put this screw back if you just if you're gonna be the only one working on this PC but of course this screw is so that way not anybody can just go like this and start messing around with your internals that's the main reason why it's there but you don't really have to put it there now this I like the way it looks I like how small it is and how powerful it is as well the only thing that's missing is a micro SD card port or an SD port so for that what I'm gonna be using is this right here which is an adapter that lets you use or micro SD or the normal SD card. So yeah, something like this will actually solve the problem. And of course, since I'm gonna be hooking this to the TV or to the monitor, I'm gonna be using my keyboard that has keyboard and mouse integrated for gaming. I can also put one of these as well for gaming. But remember, this also has Bluetooth, so you don't have to use one of these dongles. You could just hook your controller via Bluetooth if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this so I can use my micro SD card as well. And of course, so now what I'm gonna do is hook it up to the via HDMI to the monitor. But like I say, you can actually use display port. But in my case, I'm actually gonna be connecting this to my ultra wide monitor. And we're gonna go ahead and switch the camera. Okay, so I hooked up the computer to the monitor. I'm gonna be using this keyboard right here, which I was using for a long time. And um, you know what, before I, we keep on going, let's go and show you guys um, the restart. Of course, how fast does it restart? Um, it should restart fast because this is a new computer and I've barely been doing anything on it. So yeah, it should have no problem restarting fast, just like every new computer. Uh, you get this Power Manage Secure M AMI logo right there. And uh, of course the fans, they go off a little bit there. But most of the times this computer, it is very, very, very quiet. I like that about it. Even when it's editing video, of course that's when it's going to ramp up a little bit. But other than that, it is really good. This has Windows 11 um, task manager. When you open a task manager, I like to see the specs here on the CPU, which is like I said, like I mentioned, it's 11 generation Intel Core i9-11900H, which is capable up to 4.9 gigahertz in turbo. It is a 32 gigabytes of RAM, and it is a DDR4, DDR4, and it says over here this is actually capable of to 3200 MTS. Uh, when it comes to the Wi-Fi, of course, it's a Wi-Fi Realtek wireless LAN Wi-Fi 6 PCE. And the GPU is actually Intel UHD Graphics. XE 750-1440 megahertz. I did do a couple benchmarks with um, Geekbench. I barely ever use benchmarks in my videos, but here I did take a couple screenshots of the uh, benchmarks that I did. And if you notice here, when you do the CPU test, I get the single score for 2090, multi-score 8366. When I did the GPU, it's not that impressive. It's 7034, not that impressive at all. And of course, I did a couple more tests, 2065 single score, 8385 multi-score. And when I did again, the C GPU again, 790. So yeah, the benchmarks are always going to be very, very similar to that. If you're expecting to play video games, high-end video games on this computer, 
you're going to have a bad experience. Of course, this is not capable of playing high-end video games. I did try to play like Gears of War, the remake, the one that got re, uh, remastered. And I also did try Forza Horizon 5. You know, and the experience is not that good. Uh, your benchmark is going to be very low when it comes to FPS. But if you're playing video games like indie games, like Hollow Knight, Silk Song, it is going to play very, very flawlessly, like you see here on the video. And if you play any other indie game, like I think I play Wheel of Worlds or something like that, and it also plays really that good, of course, you always got to make adjustments to the graphics because, like I said, this computer is not actually to play high-end video games. What this computer is actually very good at is like doing everything like homeworks, browsing, video editing, photo editing. So if you're into that and you want like a second computer that you could put uh, like in a corner of your house, like in the kitchen or something like that, uh, I think this is a very good option. And of course, since it has the display port and the HDMI port, you can actually hook up two monitors, but you really can hook up up to three monitors using the USB-C ports and you can output 4K 60 Hertz, which is very good enough, especially since you're not doing gaming. So I think that right there is actually good enough for whether it's watching movies, what you're, whether it's working, doing homework, video editing or photo editing, you're gonna have a great, experience with this computer and of course i, I love the form factor you know, the form factor is so small that you can just hook it up to any section in your house and don't occupy too much space especially on your desk and that's what i think i'm going to be doing i'm going to be adding like another computer station around my house like maybe near the kitchen or something like that because we need some one over there because sometimes my wife wants to do work and i'm using the other computer so having another station with a monitor and this computer it would be perfect and of course you can hook up anything there i use i'm using right now the logitech mouse right here which i have it hooked up to my normal computer and of course i'm using the dongle over here for this computer right there and of course, since it doesn't have a um, SD card port, I have this hooked up here, which lets you actually hook up a SD card or micro SD card. Other than that, guys, I just want to share this with you because this was sent to me so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. And I think honestly for the price is $459. And I believe with the code, I'm going to leave a code in my video descriptions where you, where you can actually get it for less than $400. I believe like $390, something like that from Amazon. So yeah, I'll leave links in my descriptions just in case you're interested in reading a little bit more about this device and buying it from there. So that way you can get the discount. So, but let me know in the comments what you think about this computer. This is the Cam Rui Hyper Edition H2 from Ace Magic. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time, guys. Bye bye.